Richard the first one of the first legendary commanders that was implemented into rise of kingdoms and one of the first legendaries that you are going to get your hands on as a brand new player the question is though is he still good is he still worth using what's going on guys cheers now when they first put Richard into the game he was a tank he was truly a tank in every sense of the word he was very difficult to take down primarily because not a lot of players had maxed legendary commanders and because in the open field he's constantly healing and he's reducing the damage that he's taking so with the old commanders in the game it was kind of hard to take him down unless you were surrounding him or just outputting a ton of damage but these days we've got plenty of commanders that that we can use to counter Richard and a lot of people say that he's sort of fallen off so today we're going to talk about it should you still be using Richard is he worth investing in now before we begin videos like this one wouldn't be possible if it weren't for amazing sponsors like the one we have today gemstone legends let's be honest guys sometimes city builder games like ROK can be super time consuming and really demanding and sometimes I just want to lay in bed and chill and recently that's when I found myself playing gemstone legends as a match three game you control a set of heroes who launch devastating attacks against a wide variety of enemies all while having dragons by your side and to further pop off on the battlefield your heroes have special abilities that deal damage to enemies buff your party or heal units that have taken damage and I know all of that sounds super exciting okay it's lit so why do I like playing the game to relax because the graphical style is actually beautiful with hand-drawn characters and it's accompanied by an amazing soundtrack so if you see a badass in game named Omniarch that's me and you can play too by scanning the QR code that's somewhere here on the screen or by clicking the link in the description below and as a special gift for my audience if you download the game with the link in the description or QR code you're gonna get $50 worth of in-game items for free so what are you waiting for boys okay go ahead and give gemstone legends a try okay now Richard's role has definitely changed a lot throughout the years as he came into the game such a long time ago but there's still a ton of reasons why you might still be using Richard today so let's just do a quick recap he has the best open field healing in the game he also applies a 30 percent damage reduction to five targets in a fan-shaped area he also reduces March speed and that's something that we're going to take a look at actually a lot in this video he also just reduces all damage he takes by 15 percent deals more counterattack damage gives you 30 percent of infantry stats further increases his healing effectiveness and his expertise will further reduce the March speed of the target and take five percent less damage from all sources on top of his second skills damage reduction for a total of 20 percent he also has the infantry garrison and defense trees but you almost never see him as a garrison commander because players quickly realize that the healing factor here on Richard paired with the fact that he's not dealing a lot of damage back is simply causing the flag or fortress or whatever he's garrisoning in to take more severely wounded and dead units so really I would avoid using Richard as as a garrison commander so where should you be using Richard in 2022 and beyond well the first thing you want to use Richard for is chaining barbarians in the open field with E song Ye, okay this is a very well-known combination Richard primary with E song Ye secondary and when E song Ye is expertise and Richard you don't even need him to be expertise to do this really you only need like a 5-1-1-1 or a 5-5-1-1 or something like that um you can actually go through the open field and chain barbarians basically forever by hitting them with Richard and then E song Ye's circular AOE will typically tag a nearby barbarian and then you can kill that barbarian for free without using more of your action points so you get free value you get free rewards for killing barbarians by doing this combination and the reason that you use Richard is because he's so tanky and because he's healing so much that you actually will survive a very long time in the open field Richard is also very good in the Sunset Canyon and Lost Canyon game modes because because again that healing means he's going to stay alive for a very long time and while that will cause him to get more deads if he's in a flag or a garrison in game modes like Canyon it it's it's fine right you're not actually filling your hospital at all and in that same vein you can still use Richard as a garrison commander sometimes in Ark of Osiris now of course in like later stages that gets to be a little bit of a gray area because he he is a bit older but again the healing as a garrison commander in Ark of Osiris isn't actually filling up your real hospital so it's not that big of a deal and you can use him as a valuable tank 
and supportive commander in a ton of other events like Karak Ceremony or the Golden Kingdom. And if I'm being honest, for free to play players in Season of Conquest, it's probably going to be sort of hard to kill some of these really high level barbarians if you have low technology, like when you first teleport into the Lost Kingdom. So having a Richard there to actually tank that damage. For the rest of your marches to actually be able to get some of these really good kills so that way you can get your tech up higher that's going to be really valuable and definitely something that i think a lot of people forget about they take richard for granted because they invested in him so long ago and then when people ask should i invest in richard they say no because he's so old but realistically people still use him a ton for a lot of pve scenarios but i already hear what you're saying you're saying omniarch we're here for pvp baby this is a war game we want to know can richard still stomp faces in in pvp and i will be the first to tell you that his role has definitely changed since he first came out these days he's sort of seen as a punching bag unless you pair him with somebody that's dealing a ton of damage so certainly using a richard primary in pvp isn't really what it used to be but that doesn't mean that you still can't fit richard into your murder ball okay the cool thing about richard is you can still sort of throw him in as a secondary pretty much anywhere and you'll just add tankiness to that march so what am i what am i talking about here well um obviously we all know that cpo cpo legendary right that cpo prime came into the game and he's extremely powerful okay he's dealing a very powerful 2000 damage factor aoe he's doing debuffing he's giving you a ton of stats he's giving you health he's he, there's so much uh that that he's doing here which is really really nice and while cpo is so good that he can pretty much be paired with any infantry commander in the game you can absolutely put a richard behind your cpo to increase the amount of tankiness that he has people are going to be targeting the cpo trying to take him down and they're going to be uh, surprised to see a richard behind him now one of the things that makes infantry difficult to use in the open field is the slow march speed okay it's it's really it's slow you're moving around the map the enemy is using a nevsky william and they're just sprinting around doing whatever they want running laps around you okay and you can't do anything about it and that is where richard actually has a really a unique position where if you actually get your skill shot off with Richard you actually do get a really nice 15% March speed reduction and if he's expertise you get another 50% March speed reduction for five seconds this is very important for open field fighting and having a couple of Richards in a murder ball is actually going to make it very very easy to sort of snare a target or sort of pin them down trap them down so that way you can surround them and I have to say in the heroic anthem power-up game mode that we are in right now with the new blockade feature it actually becomes very bad to be caught in the open field and that is where richard actually can be sort of a secret little trick to immediately target a single enemy and melt that target down in a coordinated attack either with your other armies or with the other alliance members that are in the open field fighting with you and i know you know what i'm talking about okay in the open field fights you have like two big murder balls coming at one another and and they're sort of pushing up you're attacking and then you're retreating a little bit because you don't want to get caught and you're going back and forth and we're trying to just see like oh who's going to get caught or who's going to push harder or who's going to take momentum here uh, and one of the cool things is if someone pushes up and Richard hits them with that with that expertise that March speed reduction all of a sudden they are just quicksand they're glued to the ground and at that point that's when you start to swarm them down and that is the secret to Richard in 2022 is that he enables you to more easily surround specific targets in the open field and again you don't have to just pair him with somebody like Charles Martel or somebody else who's tanky right you could pair him with Alexander the Great you can even put him behind a Guan Yu I actually know Dragothian made a video I don't even know how long ago where he talked about how Richard actually ended up in his murder ball behind his Guan Yu just as a way to slow down the target and imagine the surprise they have when people go to swarm down your Guan Yu and they actually find it a little bit more difficult than they're used to because all of a sudden he's healing up he's reducing the damage he's taking he's giving you 30 percent more stats he does because he's older have a relic buff which honestly isn't great but it does give the much needed march speed to your infantry which is nice three percent counter attack damage that's like having vikings on as your civilization it's nothing crazy right it's nothing it's not like game breaking or whatever um i wish that he had a better relic to be honest with you guys the fact that he does still have that unique role that you can use him for is very good now the other thing that i think a lot of people forget about with richard is that richard does often have bastions available in the lost kingdom so let's go ahead and take a look 
look here you can see here that I was actually able to unlock Richard's support skill in that now I can give 30 percent of infantry stats to any other infantry army that I have so let's say I'm in the late game I'm a whale I'm not really using Richard anymore I'm still getting the value out of Richard not only from a PVE perspective because even the whales still use Richard in PVE scenarios if they know what they're doing but you get that value out of Richard's third skill or whatever his sport skill might actually be and now if I have let's say a Guan CPO in the open field I still get the value out of investing in Richard previously by using that support skill on a new March later down the line. So it's sort of like that gift comes back and gives once again. Now, one last thing I want to say about Richard's skills before we move on to his talent trees is that the third and fourth skills are actually not specific for any troop type. So if all you want to do is take a commander and add a bit of tankiness to that commander, you can just slap Richard behind them. And there you go. And now you have a more tanky March. So what do I mean by this? Well, let's take a look at Saladin. Okay. Saladin is a very well-known, uh, cavalry commander. Who's pretty tanky. He's got the support tree. Very good stuff here. We love Saladin in the open field. Now let's say you want to maximize the tankiness of your Saladin. So that way you can further reduce the March speed of the enemies in the open field well great news if you have a saladin 5551 and then a richard 5511 behind him you basically now have an extra tanky cavalry march that is also really supportive in the open field sure there's no aoe or anything like that but you do have this very powerful 30 percent march speed reduction for five seconds and you're reducing the skill damage that you take by 30 percent the counterattack damage you take by 20 percent and on top of that now your saladin is going to have an additional 15 percent damage taken reduction and he's going to deal 10 percent more counterattack damage and he's also going to have the two second debuff that richard has here all while healing and keeping saladin alive so again this is sort of a thing where it doesn't seem like there would be any, any synergy there but there's certainly instances where you might want to use a saladin richard just for a supportive march in the open field is it the best march in the game absolutely not okay absolutely not i'm not saying that this is meta and that everybody should incorporate something like this into your murder ball but as a free-to-play player perhaps you're looking for new ways to use old commanders and having an extra tanky supportive saladin might be a nice way to incorporate him into the mix for two commanders that are a little bit older and maybe you don't really have any use for them other than this okay i have two talent builds that i want to share with you guys here today there's actually quite a few talent builds you can have with richard um and that's not really the case for a lot of commanders usually a lot of commanders have just like one or two talent builds depending on what you want to do there's a lot you can do with Richard um so I'm only going to share with you two here and I think this one is one that I use most often if I'm primarily using Richard for PVE content uh and also things like Sunset Canyon okay um the reason for this is because we go all the way to the end of the defense tree and honestly I don't love Desperate Elegy okay in a PVP scenario this is not a great uh, talent because it only uh, activates under 30 percent but if you're using him for things like again sunset canyon or things along those lines this is actually pretty good because richard is going to get below 30 percent regardless now i only have three points here because there's just so many other good talents that i wanted to invest in and i had three left over and i was like okay might as well so <laughs> we came over here to balance and this is just straight up reducing the damage that you take this is important because Richard's not really dealing that much damage anyway no matter who you pair him with if he's a primary like you're not going to deal much damage so this is a no-brainer same thing here with loose formation just straight up reducing skill damage you take that's good stuff again especially in things like Sunset Canyon now we also grabbed Undying Fury so that way you gain more rage and we came up here to hold the line which has a 10 percent chance to reduce damage you take by 20 percent for two seconds good stuff there we also gained six percent infantry health and was this one percent of infantry defense you're also going to heal even more here not only with medicinal supplies activating during Richard's skill but also this will be buffed by Richard's fourth skill and that is some pretty cool stuff there and we also love testudo formation as well now the reason that I didn't come up over here is because we have a lot of March speed here we have March speed here we have what is this two percent attack who cares about that and this is just slowing down the target so again if you're in something like Sunset Canyon you don't care about this at all now if you're going to do a full infantry build this is something that I would do in the open field if you want to actually slow down the target and that's primarily what you're looking to do so as you can see here we went all the way up to elite soldiers and got as much stats as we possibly can we also unfortunately had to grab some of this March speed here which you know honestly is pretty good for the open field because Richard's so slow already but really we like snare of thorns because you have a 10 
10 chance to slow down that target and this has no prerequisites right so with Richard's active skill you have to get your rage to a thousand and, and have that active skill go off in order to get that slowdown or on his expertise you have to wait 10 seconds for that 50 percent March speed reduction but this you have a chance of this popping on the first hit 10 percent chance first hit you slow him down and that could make the difference between them getting away and not so this is why if you really want to use Richard to trap people in the open field you really do want snare of thorns then again we came over here to testudo formation you do want to reduce that damage as much as possible with Richard that's because he, he's just not going to deal much out so at least you want to survive as long as you can again same thing with balance it's a it's sort of a no-brainer and then here we all just reduce all damage you take by another one and a half percent on top of the 20 percent that we get from him being expertise already so I think this build could be used for mainly PVE Sunset Canyon and you could use it for PVP um but I think this would be more likely one that you would use in the open field because you get the March speed and the trapping ability with snare of thorns and things like that I just wish there were more points here like Richard really needs like so much to make him uh you know somewhat viable as a primary commander in the open field which is why for PVP scenarios you're mainly going to use him at this point probably as a secondary again to somebody like CPO or maybe Guan Yu or Alexander or something like that now as far as equipment goes again you're probably not going to use him as a primary but the cool thing about some of the epic equipment for infantry is that you actually do get some bonus damage to barbarians which you're going to be using Richard um to kill barbarians a ton with uh with Yi song a so having Quinn soul for example talented for him is going to give him an extra six and a half percent damage to barbarians and if you're in the lost kingdom fighting level 46 level 50 plus barbarians that's definitely going to help you especially as a free to play or low spender who maybe does struggle a little bit with damage output again especially because Richard's not really going to deal that much damage anyway now before we wrap up I do just want to thank our sponsor gemstone legends one last time guys don't forget to try the game out in the description below there will be a link down there to get the 50 dollars worth of in-game rewards for free as always if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it while you're down there it really helps out the video and helps get this out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video let me know in the comment section below do you still use Richard in 2022 if so why and that's about it guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni i will talk to you guys again soon peace